Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for June. Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding it's up and of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump in to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. Um, if you click in the description bar below, see where it's a start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. So this section is really, really for those that just kind of uh, to uh, see me shuffle on camera. Okay. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm not sure whether I should clarify now. I'm not going to clarify on screen. If I need to clarify, then I'll clarify off. Um, so when we come back and you see extra cards, that means I've just clarified that. Okay, so let me just take these in and I'll be back. So Virgo, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person you're dealing with over here. You can always, you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. Okay. So, and of course, you know, feel free to check out your other readings for the month. If this isn't your situation, if I don't pick up in this situation. All right. So this is a situation, Virgo, where there's been some form of separation. Um, and I feel like you made, you definitely made the decision to separate to end this connection with whoever this is showing. And you're thinking about, you at one point, you're just kind of thinking about the loss of that, thinking about the loss of that, you know, because there's still emotional fulfillment, there's strong attraction that you have towards this person. So there was this level of, okay, so I want to reach out to them with the eight, reach out to them and try and fix this, try and mend this. Because this is something that you, I'm not sure whether you made a quick decision about to end this, so, you know, for some of you, that could have been the case making this quick decision about but I feel like given the time that you've had apart it's kind of made you realize or just kind of made you not even so much realize at this stage but you know it's made you reminisce yeah and and possibly recognize that's much really the word possibly recognize certain things and maybe you might have acted a bit too rash or um quickly when it came to just ending the situation uh, and you'll feel person that was kind of left in this confusion is that with that seven card there because there is still this strong emotional connection um but but with having that it kind of you know kept them in their head kept them trapped unable to kind of maybe move on maybe with answers as well un unanswered questions that might also have to do with just unanswered questions because you do have that eight of cups there which talks about walking away from something um leaving things undone leaving some things left unsaid yeah. but again it's them being left with confusion trapped in their head unable to kind of really think of anything else but feeling like you know what happened to my Virgo you know that they had a positive impact in my life on me in some way and with that brings this eight, this eight of cups, sorry, the eight of pentacles, you know, this um, focus on wanting to put work into something, work on clearing up the tower, you know, the disruption that happened between you guys, but then deciding against it because they have too much in their head, too much in that hermit space of trying to find answers, trying to find um, answers to the questions that they had or that they have or that they had. Uh -huh. Which brings us to where we are at the moment. You're showing up as the page. So you're going through some form of realization. There's a realization or an epiphany, a wake up call, like an aha. But you, you now get something. You now understand something. There's something that you're now starting to get, that you're now starting to understand, which is really making you want to fix this with the start card there. Um, I feel like it. Feel like it's relating to again this you acting a bit too quick in the past to end this, but I feel like it definitely runs deeper than that. I feel like you're starting to realize who this person is, um, what they mean to you, 
you know how how much of it, how much of in alignment you are with them how good the connection is but it's like okay there's a bit of confusion around how to take action what action to take what action to take where for them and that might be because they're showing up as the new it's like they're you know you, you're not sure what they're thinking this is not someone who's giving away much of what they're thinking or what they're feeling especially if you're in contact with them um, or you might see them in passing you, you, you're not quite sure they're not giving that up um, but what they're thinking is and what they've always really known hence the confusion is that high priestess high priestess represents you know deep spiritual connection higher insight uh, twin flame soulmate that type of energy is this and that's in their thinking so I feel like this person maybe that's what you're starting to realize maybe that's what you're starting to understand the level of depth that this connection is what this connection is it's like they kind of know what it is it's this deep spiritual connection or soulmate type of connection which brings with which brings a level of patience and understanding um, in terms of their mindset that they have when dealing with this, in terms of getting to that king. King talks about harvest coming in, you've put in the work, now you're reaping the rewards of your benefits. Um, there's a level of patience and understanding that comes with that. I feel like this person, you know, is forced to, nah, no, I don't want to downplay their character. No, nah, I'll leave it as that. Um, but also just kind of trying to balance their thinking. Again, we're going back to this confusion. Mm. But they're doing well because we got that magician card there. It's like this person knows. It's like, I just, I know, regardless of what things look like now, regardless of how things are, I kind of know what this is. I kind of know what this connection is. You know, I know what this relationship is. Virgo might not know, but I do. But I, I feel like that's what you're waking up to. We do have that Empress card there which talks about the creation of something, the birthing of something. I feel like that's more so representing the newness that you're going to bring to this relationship when you guys get back together. I say when you get back together because I feel like this is really inevitable, if I'm honest with you, uh, Virgo. Um, this person is just like, I'm just waiting for you to get it. This is like that. Even if they've not reached out to you, it's coming from a place of just being a bit, you know, emotionally mature, um, having a level of understanding around the laws I guess maybe consciously or unconsciously it's like the more you cling on to something the more something pulls away it's like let let nature take its course let it unfold the way it's meant to if this is what I feel then you know I'm going to step back and let uh, God the universe whatever it is you want to title it as do what it needs to do in order for us to to, to come back into alignment so if you haven't heard from them, it's them having that level of maturity, whether they know it or not. Uh, you're now, again, it's realizing, you know, what you're realizing and it's bringing about this feeling of, you know, the, the newness, just newness, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, painting something different, creating something different, coming into this with a new uh, sense of uh, uh, feeling a new mindset because of the realization of what this is. It's like, ah, now I can value it. Now I'm going to value it a lot more. We do have that King of Wands, which talks about drive, driven, ambition, passion. Um, so you do want to move forward. You do want to, again, but there's this lack of clarity. It's like you don't know how this is going to turn out, whether this person is going to be receptive to you or not, because you acknowledge or think that this person you know has been hurt in some way or there's a bit of fear there that could also represent fear as well this person's not as you know yes they're confused they've gone through some confusion it's like what happened <laughs> you know but i feel like that's again we've got this level of maturity that they come with that they have and that's because there's an inner knowing there's an, an insight around so usually at this point we move into part two of the reading where we just kind of get an in depth, um, we kind of uh, kind of elaborate on this. See where you guys move to. We'll be implementing that next week, guys. So look out for that for those that are interested. But as it stands, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. 
Um, very exciting, Virgo. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. I will be implementing the singles next week as well, guys. Very exciting as well. Uh, other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week.